wrestling or takedowns plus 10 or 15 seconds, which I recommend people from our martial arts do. It helps with your transitional submissions and your takedowns under control. And boy, does it make you better at things like I can pull off. Guys, I have a lot more videos. Look at my two videos there. And I have a third one. It's me going with a much lighter but brown belt. And I pull off some stuff. And I have a lot of other footage just here in their snippets when I'm wrestling live with people, whether a wrestler or a martial arts guy or a jiu-jitsu guy or whatever. Yes, I've taken down some black belts with Kodagishi before. I don't have on tape. One guy was a lighter guy, but one guy posted on uh, my Facebook page about it that night uh, and stuff. And, um, the, you know, the reason... Don't you think that, that that my training like this, the takedowns plus 15 seconds, don't you think that helps me with things like the elbow cranks I hit live and the Kodagishi and the Nikyos and, and the occasional uh, Shihonagi I've hit on a football, bigger football player and stuff like that? Don't, don't people think that? Anyway, I've given a lot of footage to Rokus Leo. I, he's busy, but he has told me he would put it together. I gave a lot of footage, about 16 or 17 minutes, I me mean, hitting live standing locks and stuff that I consider... TMA World, whether it's Aikido, Takemusu Aki, or Tai Chi, or Bakwa, when I'm talking about rooting and kind of spring energy and, and these TMA concepts that most people just don't believe in anymore, but they can't fight anyway, so why do you listen to them? If they can't at least fight on my level, if they're not a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, if they haven't fought pro in MMA, why listen to them? If they haven't bounced and had real street altercations, why listen to them anyway? Why don't you listen to the people that actually know a little bit and, and, and have some skill? And then listen, and then maybe we find the truth. Aikido is not good as a standalone art for most people. Maybe for a guy like Lenny and a very few people, it can be pretty good. But for most people, it just isn't. And most people aren't the hard style like Lenny is or Steven Seagal did. They don't have a lot of the deflections and training against punches and stuff. Um... It's, you know, they don't trade alive enough. Now, maybe some of that can change. And I, at one point, I sincerely, I thought that was what, what was Rokas Leo was trying to do. I don't know if, if that's sincerely what he was trying to do at one point, but I was trying to help him. And I go, oh, change, just change MMA. I try to give him answers if you watch my hour-long interview with him. I think it might be insightful for Aikido people watching this video. Um, but does it completely suck? No, I've said it. It helps. <laughs> if you're balancing security, whatever, it helps and definitely all grapplers should learn the locks that i do why they're reaching you can get the locks they put a color tie in boy watch how many people color tie me they get the locks they reach this way a lot of japanese fighters do boom there's the nikyo okay um and maybe i could get better at some i've always used katanagi from other arts i've seen in see law and sistema i always called that head and arm spin i taught that if you watch my my first videos um that really blew up on youtube were not under my channel was ehow or expert village i got about 17 million views i think on the first combined of the first 45 videos i really did 60 but i think they only put 45 up of the three out of four sections of my combat jujitsu dvd on expert village e how one of those was standing grab defense stuff and a lot of it is maybe an atemi punch a vertical punch going into um like wrist locks or nikio from like the cross arm grab uh like that chick that did it in an under siege two to throw the guy in the helicopter actually i was in a movie with her briefly on set um you can hear me in uh a movie what was that movie called um the ugly truth you can hear me as the baseball playing there right there when it looks like she's uh, doing a little something to him in the stands and the guy was there right there anyway so and then i was bouncing at this underground hippie club and and topeka canyon or something in california and, and she comes up and i got a list it's a special birthday party and she, like, tells me her name. I'm like, I know who you are. <laughs> That's my little story about the girl from Under Siege, too. Catherine Heagle. I don't think she went very far in Hollywood after a while. Lugly Truth, I think, think is a hilarious movie. There's an just off-the-wall off the wall story for me. Anyway, that's the, I'm an off-the-wall guy, guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Look at my website, thecombatsystem.com, thecombatsystem.com, or catchjitsu.com. On YouTube, catchjitsu.com on YouTube, guys. Look at my playlist. I, I was teaching systems like front headlock that other people neglect back in 2014 and putting hour-long systems on front headlock position, side turtle, all the leg locks, guard, uh, side mount, half guard, I put systems out on all these different positions or particular subject matters back in 2014 before it was cool to make your own systems. Anyway, guys, um, who knows? I'm, I'm just kind of joking. I would like to work with a company like BJJ Fanatics or someone else and get some of my more sh uh, combatives and street jujitsu out. And um, if you're uh, in Atlanta, 
let me know because I might be putting something together if you're in Atlanta and you want to train. And uh, I'm trying to get back into stunt work, guys. Uh, I'm doing, you know, I'm a SAG actor and stuntman. And um, look for me in a little karate show. You might be able to spot me really fast in one of my t-shirts. And um, see if you can spot me in the very last few seconds of the passage. Ow! And then Wolfman, I'll catch you on the flip side. That's the truth about Aikido. It only mostly sucks, but it doesn't really suck for what it was intended for. Like weapon retention, which is good for guns or swords. It was good for that when someone reaches, and it still is. Takes what useful, guys. Bye.